Hey, on Tiki Fire Book Reviews, The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. We're Tiki Fire here with another Tiki Fire Book Review. And today I'm going to review a book I recently finished reading. It's called The Devil in the White City by Eric Larson. This was a number one bestseller, as it says on the cover. And this was back about 11 years ago, I guess. I think this came out in 2003. And there's the side. There's the back. This was a really good book. It's non-fiction, but he writes in almost a fictional style. Um, almost in the style of fictional book. So it is a history book. It's non-fiction. Um, and now the White City it's referring to was the 1893... World's Fair, the Columbian Exposition, they called it in Chicago. And I tell you what, if I had a time machine, I would go back to a lot of these old World's Fairs. If you've seen any of my other videos, I've talked about how I loved the 82 World's Fair and I got to go to it in Knoxville when I was a kid. And let me tell you, I've always been fascinated with World's Fairs and the history of them. I have some stuff from, for instance, from the 1939 World's Fair in New York. I have some souvenirs and things from the 1964 World's Fair in New York. And of course I have some souvenirs from the 82 World's Fair that I actually went to. So this has always fascinated me and this one is about two things. This is about a serial killer named H.H. H. Holmes, at least that was one of it, that was his alias, one of his many aliases. This is about him killing people during, well, both before and during the fair and a little bit after the fair. And it's also about the fair itself. So it, it kind of tells the dual stories there, and then they intertwine at one point when the fair is going on, and then it goes on and finishes. And it's really cool. There's a lot of stuff in here about the architects that built the fair, and about all they had to go through, all the planning, and why they did it, you know, why they had the fair in Chicago that year and all this. Uh, it really paints an interesting portrait of um, the United States as a whole and as a microcosm, the city of Chicago in the 1890s. And I gotta say, I highly recommend this book. It's really well written, um, really fascinating subjects, and the way he takes on both of those subjects, the horrible serial killer H.H. H. Holmes and this 1893 World's Columbian Exposition in Chicago that changed the city forever. It's pretty amazing, and, and it really works. It really works. Um, I, would, I would even call it a page turner. It really does keep you turning the pages. Even though that kind of sounds boring when you start talking about the planning of a World's Fair and this sort of thing, he makes it really come right off the page at you. And intertwining it with the serial killer story makes it even more interesting. So if you haven't read this yet, I'd highly recommend it. Um, go out and get a copy. You can get it pretty cheap. This one I got off of Amazon used. I think it was about four or five bucks. And it's well worth that. And it'll keep you busy for a while unless you're some kind of you know sp speed demon reader. It's about 400 pages. Um, I would highly recommend it and appreciate you watching. If you like this video review, please give me a thumbs up and please subscribe and check out my other channels. I've got lots of neat things on there. Thanks.